Hello, community. In a land really, really far away where small people live and tall people are exiled. A small girl over the age of 18 embarks on a journey to end all wars and protect everyone who did not adjust to the team lineup and just auto-locked mages and marksmen. Are you ready to show your enemies the true meaning of small but terrible? Do you want to play Mobile Legends while playing Whack-A-Mole at the same time? Or do you want to be in the 1% of players who play not to get kills but play to work with their teammates? If your answer is yes, then pick up that Loli. My name is Shinmin Takizo and this is Lolita in Ultra Fast Speed Guide. What am I doing with my life? Lolita is the hero that puts the hammer in hammer time. She excels in giving enemies brain damage from repeatedly hitting their heads with a 10-ton hammer. And she might be small, but she knows how to give a really good pounding. Lolita's passive is called giving my bitches extra protection. Lolita loves giving her allies protection before they get fucked up by diving in the middle of the enemy team. If Lolita doesn't take any damage for 5 seconds, this number goes up and at max charge, this icon appears and Lolita gets a free shield that she can give her allies too by moving close to them. Having this free built-in shielding system gives you that power and confidence to smack your enemies' faces whenever it's up. You damage their HP and they damage your shield. That you can easily get back by literally doing nothing. Then you can just run back and laugh while you know that they know that deep inside, they know that they've lost that battle because they know that you know how to use your shield. You know what I mean? This is also helpful when you get matched with Rambo type allies that don't care about their HP bar. Just touch their butts every time the shield is up and bam, shielded ass. Ready for battle. Lolita skill 1 is called free brain injury. This little elf is so generous that she just gives out stuff for free. Like free hammer in the head if you try to get close to her. Free timeout from moving or being able to do anything if you piss her off. Oh, you're trying to run away from a defenseless giant hammer carrying little elf? Here, take this stamp of approval for being a great pussy. Your skill 1 has two activations. The first time you press it, you dash into a direction of your choice. The second time you press it, you jump and smack the head of an enemy of your choice. This deals them physical damage and a short stun, stopping them in their tracks while you, a peace-loving lowly elf, laughs as your teammates dive in and enjoy the meal that you have carefully prepared for them. Bon Appetit Lolita's skill 2 is called Bullshit Blocker. Every time you press skill 2, a laser-like shield will appear in front of Lolita. This will filter every enemy ranged attacks. Melee or close range attacks still go through. Enemy heroes like Gusian, Harley, or Cyclops hate this skill because all they're trying to do is send you gifts like cooking knife sets, deck of cards for magic tricks, or balls for juggling. But you give them a big rejection by putting up the shield. Enemy Bruno wants to send me his ball to bounce between me and my allies? Here, have a shield, fuck you. The shield lasts for a few seconds. If it gets hit by ranged attacks, you take zero damage and you get these bars. You can even interrupt ranged skills and attacks that are not meant for you. After this fantastic shield runs out, you can press the skill again to retaliate and shoot out some bullshit in return. The damage done by this attack depends on how many bars you got from blocking enemies' shitty projectiles. So catch them all like a Pokemon master. Lolita's ultimate skill or skill 3 is called Rocket Bitch Slap. What is better than bitch slapping an enemy you say? Bitch slapping multiple enemies. 
Pressing this skill will cause you to remain in a spot for a few seconds while you ready your gigantic hammer to make pancakes out of your enemies. Anyone caught in this huge range while you're charging up your ult will be caught with amazement and have slower movement speed until they receive the slapping of a lifetime. Anyone hit by the final slam of this skill will be stunned and take ass kicking damage. But remember, while charging up this awesome skill, you can get interrupted by haters who might stun you or destroy able you to cancel your glorious ultimate so practice good timing and wait for them to use up their stunts and knockbacks before using the skill now that you know the basics it is time to own some bitches with these tips and tricks Lolita is a great tank, but when do you pick her the most? You can choose Lolita in every game you play if you want to be a real lolicon. But she is best picked if your enemy decided they want to be a barber, a midget, a shadow dude, or another midget. Use this item set for her. These boots will reduce the damage of jungle monsters, minions, and hero basic attacks early game to help your survivability. Immediately get Athena's shield for more shield so that you can put a shield on your shield while you're shielding. Talk about thick shields. After that, go for Oracle so that your enemies heal you instead if they are foolish enough to attack you. Use Flicker as your only battle spell for Lolita in every game, as you can flicker right before your ultimate finishes charging. Flicker to move Lolita and her ultimate's area of effect, making escape for enemies 99% impossible. Several games of practice might be required for total mastery of this technique. In choosing emblems, go for tank emblems. Lolita is a tank if you have not noticed that by now, so this is the only emblem she needs. Put points in additional armor and cooldown reduction. Always choose the second talent, Brave Smite. For every 10 seconds, you will be rewarded with HP healing whenever you bop someone in the head. This lets you be more aggressive in lane since aside from your shield passive, you also get a heal every time you crack a skull. At the start of the game, recommend Elegant Gem and go to the side lane with a mage or a marksman. Max skill 1 to increase the dash range, get ultimate when available, and max skill 2 last. Your top priority is to babysit this ally you're with in the early game. Let's call that ally the baby. You want to make sure that no one hurts your baby so use your skill 1 to disable enemies when they try to attack it. Also use your skill 1 to stop the enemy from escaping if your baby is winning a trade and is trying to get a kill. When you're low on HP, use your skill 1 on jungle monsters or minions if no enemies around. Do this every 10 seconds for that tasty 5% max HP heal from your talent. In teamfights, reserve your skill 1 and prioritize stunning assassins that might go around your team's formation. Always stay between the enemies and your allies and use your skill 2 to block projectiles if ranged enemies are trying to shoot down your team. Reserve your skill 2 if the enemy has a ranged ultimate like Cyclops, Bruno, Harley, or Leslie. Block it with your shield like you're trying to collect raindrops from your leaking roof. You can also use your skill 2 to block minion and hero attacks that are trying to take down your tower. Using Lolita's ultimate can be a little tricky at first. Enemies can escape with their fancy dashes and flicker if they see this huge indicator that you're almost about to slam. Aside from doing a flicker ult, Another easy thing you can do to surprise enemies is to use your ultimate while hiding in the bush. This makes the indicator invisible and even the enemy with the biggest eyes won't know what hit them. For the entirety of the mid game up to the late game, always stick to your mages and marksmen as they need the most protection from assassins and they need to be alive for your team to do damage. If they die, it's gonna be your fault. Unless they're really idiots that jump into the middle of the enemy team. Keep pounding down on enemies until they're 6 feet under. Block all their bullets and make them think twice about attacking you and your team. And always remember, if you can't break them with a hammer, get a bigger hammer. My name is Shin Takizo and this is Lolita, an ultra fast speed guide. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.